Hi everyone, it's Danielle from the Homestead Channel. Today we're going to talk about permaculture. What is it? We live in a world increasingly dependent on industry and globalization. A world of fast consumption, disposable products, coming from the four corners of the planet. A world dependent on a few big players and dying slowly. Permaculture is not a gardening method as many people think. It is not the trend of the moment. It is an approach to solving current problems and making sustainable decisions. It's a way of analyzing the world and its resources in order to choose the most appropriate and promising tools according to the situation in which we are currently living. In this video from the Homestead Channel, we will look at the basic principles of permaculture and why this is the right way to do things in the context in which we live. And you may discover that you already know and apply some of the principles of this planetary movement in your everyday life. The word permaculture comes from the contraction of agriculture and permanent. Permaculture encourages the use of local resources, diversified and smaller scale crop planning, soil enrichment in a natural way and thus in a sustainable vision. It is moving away from large scale commercial and industrial activities towards small scale human farms that encourage links between community members. This movement began in the 70s. The Australian biologist and wildlife ecologist Bill Mollison understood the imminent danger of the industrial revolution and its impact on agriculture. Therefore, instead of fighting against growing capitalism and industrialization, he looked at nature. He understood that it is an evolution evolutionary and integrated system of perennial self-perpetuating plants and useful animal species that can live without human intervention and that we could introduce those pr basic principles to agriculture. Do we need to take action so that trees grow in the forest? So that animals reproduce? So that the soil in the forest is enriched? No. For the Japanese Masanobu Fukuoka, men must respect the soil as much as possible. It must be disturbed only to the minimum. Thus, the seeds must be put on the surface of the soil and covered with a thin layer of mulch or compost. That's all. Weeds should be cut before they bloom and spread and not pulled out because uh, pulling out the roots would move the soil and arm the microorganisms living in it and we don't want that. And cut down slates on the ground as a green manner. This feeds the soil and unwanted herbs stop growing. Thus, all, vegeta all vegetation in the garden whether desired or not, aerates the soil with its roots, enriches the soil as a green manor, is the house of many microorganisms necessary for plant development, promoting better crops, fewer diseases and pests, and all this without chemical fertilizers, pesticides, or radical man intervention. Isn't that great? Today, under this principle, people, their habitats, and the way they organize themselves are considered to be at the center of this permanent agriculture. Thus, the permaculture vision of sustainable agriculture has gradually broadened into a culture of permanence and sustainability. Pollution due to waste from industrial agriculture, chemicals, packaging, and transportation systems are being questioned by many citizens and governments. It seems more and more logical to buy local food without overpackaging, grown with renewable and clean energy as hydroelectricity we have here, or to grow it ourselves, respecting nature, 
principles of permaculture and a sustainable lifestyle. Many citizens, both in the city and in the suburbs, apply these principles of sustainability by growing their vegetable garden outside or even inside during winter, composting their residues to make their own fertilizer, reusing industrial waste to start their seedlings, <laughs> as I show you often, uh, harvesting their seeds for the following year, mulching the aisle of the garden with wood, leaves, and grass clipping to give nutrients to the ground. In the next videos, we will look together at some principles related to permaculture, such as composting that we can do with what we already have at home, kitchen leftovers, grass cuts, dead leaves, wood, wood ashes that are really great in calcium, uh, so that we don't have to buy compost anymore at the store. Vermicomposting, which can be a project you can do with your children and this compost can be used 12 months a year, even during winter in your house. Uh, mulching our garden to limit water use and many other accessible topics. Most of the time focus on reusing or with a good resource management and which are free. So I hope you enjoyed this video from the Homestead channel and don't forget to subscribe. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So uh, have a nice seedling seasons and keep uh, try to uh, buy your seeds online. So see you soon, guys.